Good evening, I'm Desmond Saunders. Welcome to The Bahamas Tonight, The National Report. Thank you so much for looking in. The Cabinet Office confirming that Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis, and Minister of Finance, Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable Peter Turnquist, have voluntarily entered self-quarantine due to possible exposure of COVID-19 at the Cecil Wallace Whitfield Center in Cable Beach. The Cabinet Office release confirms that the center, which houses the Office of the Prime Minister, the Ministry of Finance and their agencies has been closed for cleaning and sanitization following exposure to COVID-19. The Ministry of Health Surveillance Unit has initiated contact tracing to determine the level of exposure to employees and visitors to the Cecil Wallace Whitfield Center. At this point, there has been no confirmation that the Prime Minister or the Deputy Prime Minister have been exposed. However, out of an abundance of caution, the Prime Minister and the Deputy Prime Minister will voluntarily enter into self-quarantine until further instructions from the Ministry of Health. This is the second time the Deputy, the Deputy Prime Minister has quarantined from possible COVID-19 exposure. The Cabinet Office release concluded that other employees of the Cecil Wallace Whitfield Center are encouraged to self-quarantine until further instructions are issued by the Ministry of Health. The Prime Minister spoke exclusively with our news team about the matter. vicinity, but in the complex, um, that tested positive, and staff members may have communicated with that person and subsequently um, um, entered my office, and therefore, out of, out of abundance of caution, they just asked me to quarantine until further notice. But I feel 100% um, um, fit, well. And I swallowed up the daughters, came home, and um, since I was unable to exercise, I've just completed coming up a treadmill, ensuring that I stay in shape to continue to guide us through this, um, through this COVID infection or pandemic. And um, be assured also that the Deputy Prime Minister is likewise well. The Prime Minister confirmed that he received a negative COVID-19 test several weeks ago and remains on the direction of medical personnel who advise him to self-quarantine. He said he's been monitoring the COVID-19 positive case numbers, acknowledging that cases in New Providence have decreased. All cases continue to increase in Grand Bahama. Prime Minister Menace also reiterated his message to the youth. I know that a lot of them have been going into the hotels and other um, homes, Airbnb, etc., and continue to party and everything. I ask them to resist at this particular point in time, and it's in the interest of the nation. That is a part of their national responsibility. That is my one request of them. And that is, um, that is um, a defense that we can utilize to, to combat this virus. So that would be my message out to, to all of to take this virus seriously. This may possibly be the will of the Lord. So as the entire Bahama could understand what COVID is about and what pandemic we're dealing with. And maybe um, the Lord is sending the message um, um, informing Bahamas that COVID is real, the pandemic is real, and um, it can affect anybody. And um, we must work as a nation, we must unify and work and fight this virus together, not in isolation. Our only enemy at this time is the COVID virus. And let us all combine and deal with it appropriately.